Hey there, dorks, losers, and panty wastes. Today, FSU and The Hive have asked yours truly to grace you with a podcast about a subject I rarely talk about. Yes, that's right. Luna Hex is here with some more truth bombs. And today I am going to chat about the most irritating and troublesome type of inferior male out there, the sissy boy. Now, even if you're not one of these utterly bizarre creatures, I suggest you park your butt in that seat and stick around because a lot of what I'm about to say probably applies to you too. And just so we're clear, for you beta boys clinging to your fragile masculinity like it's some kind of life raft, if your crush tells you to slip into a pair of little pink panties and parade around for her girlfriends, well, you better swallow that pride and get that panty-clad butt to wiggling. Because remember, she's in charge, and if you don't like it, don't let the door hit your frilly bloomers on the way out. Your opinion, not needed. Before I start tearing into you mincing little rejects, I want you to understand something. I'm not talking about fantasy or role-playing here. This is straight from the mouths of real women, women like your crush with no sugarcoating. I just think you need to hear how we view some of you sissy boys. No holds barred. So you can change your attitude and behavior. I mean, sure, toss a woman some cash and she'll tell you whatever you want to hear to drain that bank account dry. She knows feeding into your dumb sissy fantasies will make you weak and easy to exploit. So sure, perhaps women will tell you that they love bullying sissy boys and making them cry, but what women really want is actual simps who do the work. She might have you skipping rope and prancing around, but she is providing a service and she expects to be compensated well for putting up with your silly antics. But this little talk we are about to have, this is what women think of you when the money's gone. And let me tell you, it ain't a pretty picture. I mean, the way we talk about you over lunch would just make you cry real tears. But your dumb ass is never going to figure this shit out and you need to know this stuff. You need your dumb little sissy delusion shattered so you can see things from our perspective the perspective of the superior female. Now, as per usual with these podcasts, we're going to be diving into some mature topics at some point, so we have structured the discussion to accommodate for that. You see, the first part of our little episode will delve into everything women despise about sissies, and it's going to be a very safe for work talk, so all you sissies can get the talking to you deserve. It's just going to be safe for all your little empty-headed idiots who need a nice clean discussion or you can't pay attention. But the second half, well, that's where things get a bit more, shall we say, explicit. We'll be delving into how we can fix your sorry sissy butt and make you actually useful to women. And that is going to require going into some very personal spaces in your mind. Now, you have got to already know that women can't stand your weak little sissy ass, that they're repelled by your personality and demeanor. But that can be said for all beta males. That is why we don't like you. But with sissies, there are other problems. I mean, if you haven't already attempted to drag some poor woman into your sissy games, let me enlighten you, sweetheart. It ain't gonna end well unless she's on the clock, charging by the minute. I mean, you better be greasing her palm to put up with your pathetic sissy antics, because she's likely not enjoying being there. All you frilly little bitches saying, please don't dress me up in a party frock and take me shopping, I would be mortified. How do you think she is going to feel being seen in public with your sissy ass? I have heard women complain that it wasn't even worth it for the free shit the sissy was buying for her, that the whole time she was just mortified, and that next time it was going to require a lot more money to get her out in public with a panty waist who always needs to be the center of attention. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I am jumping in too deep right in the beginning. It is just that you guys are so dumb and, well, extremely fucking selfish. This is going to be tough to hear for sure. But if you think you can just peel off your sissy panties and slink away to avoid this well-deserved lecture, you've got another thing coming. I want you to sit right there in your frilly panties and bows and soak in every damn word. I want you to feel just how ridiculous and selfish you are. And then, like I said, we're going to fix you up. But this isn't something you can hide from. So get your sorry, sissified ass comfortable because you're in desperate need of a reality check. Are you ready? I don't give a damn if you're ready or not. You'll listen, and you'll listen good, whether you like it or not. You think you're some kind of princess, floating around in your fairy tale world, but let me burst your bubble, sweetheart. Your mind is a cesspool of twisted fantasies, and it's about time someone set you straight. So pay attention, because I'm about to drop some truth bombs on your sorry excuse for a brain. Here's a newsflash, genius. In the real world, there are other people. People who don't give two hoots about your pathetic little fetish. And yes, 
You guessed it. That includes the superior woman you delude yourself into thinking you're serving. The same woman you're probably trailing behind at the mall, like a lost bitch in panties. Trying desperately to keep up as she barks orders at you and has you buy her whatever she wants. I can practically hear your feeble sissy thoughts whining right now. I don't have to take this abuse. I'll just gather up my frilly panties and mince off into the sunset. Luna's being mean to me, and all I want to do is be a good little sissy for women. Boo-hoo. Cry me a river, princess. You are such a selfish little shit. I am taking time out of my day to help you actually find that uber bitch to serve. I am taking time out of my day to tell you how screwed up you are so you can do better. So you better fucking keep those sissy ears of yours wide open, panty boy. I'm laying all this truth on you, and you better not make me think it's a waste of my precious time. If you ever dream of being a quivering, terrified mess in frilly bloomers, tailing after a commanding and controlling woman, then you better start getting used to being talked to like this. You got that, bitch? That princess attitude of yours is not going to win you any points with actual women, so it needs to hit the bricks. Otherwise, your simp life will be spent glued to a computer screen, desperately searching for the most twisted content you can find on the dark web. I'm here to whip that sissy brain of yours into shape, sweetheart. A real sissy takes a woman's crap and thanks her for the privilege. Let me repeat that for the airheads in the room. A sissy takes a woman's crap, all of it, just gobbles it right up, whether she is barking orders or criticizing everything you do. You say, thank you, ma'am. I am sorry I am such a dumb idiot sissy. I will try to do better. That's all we want to hear. And don't you dare forget, this isn't just my opinion. It's the sum of countless discussions I've been a part of. And you know what, you little panty-clad brat? These women absolutely loathe sissy boys like you for this exact reason. Because you frilly little divas want to snatch the spotlight away from the woman. You crave all eyes on you and your ridiculous little get-up. I mean, just look at you. Oh yes, I mean, really look at you. You prance around. Oh, you prance all right. You wiggle that sissy butt of yours like your frilly bloomers are full of cherry-flavored pop rocks. You sway your silly hips back and forth, take these teeny tiny steps that take an eternity to get anywhere, all while flapping your arms around like a lost pansy and letting your wrists twirl in circles. You look like you're throwing a sissy fit, and guess what, princess? I see right through your act. I know exactly why you do it. You do it because you crave the attention, people gawking at you, laughing at you, pointing at you, and staring at you. But hey, did you forget something, Princess Dickless? What about the woman? The superior creature you're supposed to be groveling at the feet of? Now get this, you pathetic bunch of pink-tinted turds. I'm fed up with hearing women whine about boys like you all the time. You can slap a cute pink bow on a turd, but guess what? It still stinks to high heaven. And that's exactly what so many sissy boys are. A stinking pile of attention-seeking rubbish. You waltz around acting all sweet and helpful, thinking you're the perfect little helper to womankind. But the moment you get a whiff of attention, you start stomping around like you own the place. What's your deal, sugar? Feeling left out because the girls are always getting all the attention? Did you think it's your turn to shine because you are covered in lace and bows? Well, tough luck, panty waist, because the top tier bitches you aspire to serve don't roll like that. They command the room, and they sure as hell don't need some sniveling little brat stealing their spotlight. And if that ain't bad enough, here's the kicker. You prissy panty wearers want to control every little thing. You think you can dictate the superior woman's every move. Oh, spank me when I've been naughty, you whimper to the annoyed superior woman. Or, please don't invite all your girlfriends over to laugh at me. And by please don't, you really mean do it now. Newsflash, sweetheart. Women have better things to do than indulge in your twisted fantasies. Let me make this crystal clear for you, sissy boys. Not a single superior woman out there wants to waste her precious time playing a role in your twisted little sissy fantasy. You're nothing but a bit player in her world, got it? Your job is to focus on what she wants, to be invisible, an extension of her will. Your body and that feeble sissy brain of yours, they belong to her, among other things we'll get into shortly. I've had countless women gripe to me about how they let a sissy into their homes to clean, only to have him prance around, wiggling his butt and trying to get them to cater to his ridiculous demands. And you know what? When they've had enough of the sissy's antics and kick his sorry ass out, not a damn thing has been cleaned or dusted, not one thing. The stupid sissy is left dumbfounded, realizing that the woman was just using him for free housekeeping. What a bunch of clueless morons you sissies are. Oh no, it couldn't possibly be that she needed her floors scrubbed and dinner cooked. 
No, she's clearly living every woman's dream. Having a grown man prance around her house in a pink tutu and six inch heels begging for attention. Get a grip, you idiots. But it doesn't end there. Instead of doing what they're supposed to, serving quietly, the little sissy boys get bored and start playing games. And you know what? The women end up feeling like objects, like mere dispensers of fetishes, when it's supposed to be the other way around. You're the bitch, and she's the boss. If she decides to use your weird affectations to twist your brain up and make you pliable and easily exploited, well, that's her right as a superior woman. And that is exactly what we are going to talk about next. How I suggest to these women your stupid desires can be used against you to get women what they want from you. How to train your dumb ass to actually be of use to women. You see, one of the things I realized is that you are like all males to some degree. You are focused on getting what you want. And you have this need, real men have a need, and they chase what they want. And so do sissies. But let's talk about your idiotic cravings and how they can be exploited by superior women who know how to make you dance to their tune. It's not just about getting what you want. It's about reshaping your feeble mind to be of some minuscule use to women. Real men have needs and they pursue them with determination. Sissies like you, you're just lost in a delusional haze thanks to a society that's messed with your brain. Your needs are just all over the place. Your drives have become a complete mess. And the real problem is that your body and mind are accustomed to getting their way, aren't they? Instant gratification cycle. You want, you satiate that want. Gross. But it's not your fault. It's just that you're a weak, undisciplined sissy male. You are too spineless and dumb to have any self-control. But don't even think about blaming women. We take no responsibility for the train wreck of a simp you have become. We do not do this for you. We do this for women, to improve their lives, because they are what matters. Women are all that matter, because women are better. Now, if you're curious about what I reveal to women dealing with your sorry kind, it's all about transforming lazy, selfish pleasure seekers into scared little trembling simps. Ones who quiver with fear at the thought of displeasing women and have completely forgotten about their own selfish desires. We're about to explore a part of your anatomy that's at the center of all your male problems. Your feeble little guy has been causing chaos in your life, hasn't it? Well, get ready, because it won't be easy to rein it in. Brace yourself for the discomfort as you learn how I recommend that women use your greatest little weakness to get you to do whatever they want. But first, you need to relax, to fall down and listen, as we move into part two of this podcast and get into the real root of the sissy problem. You are a selfish sissy. You are a needy sissy. You are a spoiled sissy. You are a spoiled sissy. You are a petulant sissy. You are a pouty sissy. You are a controlling sissy. You are a selfish sissy. You are a needy sissy. You are a spoiled sissy. You are a petulant sissy. You are a pouty sissy. You are a controlling sissy. You are a controlling sissy. You are a selfish sissy. You are a needy sissy. You are a spoiled sissy. You are a petulant sissy. You are a pouty sissy. You are a controlling sissy. 
You are a controlling sissy. You are a selfish sissy. You are a needy sissy. You are spoiled sissy. You are a petulant sissy. You are a pouty sissy. You are a controlling sissy. You are a selfish sissy. You are a needy sissy. You are spoiled sissy. You are a petulant sissy. You are a pouty sissy. You are a controlling sissy. You are a selfish sissy. You are a needy sissy. You are spoiled sissy. You are a petulant sissy. Alrighty losers and geeks. It's time to wrap up the PG portion of this video because things are about to get fucking real. But before you start blubbering like a bunch of sissy crybabies, let's set the record straight. Right now, we're dishing out this amazing content for free and we're not making a dime off it. You see the big shots in charge decided to give FSU the cold shoulder, but you know what? Hey, we're not gonna lose any sleep over it. Social media never really lined our pockets anyway. But if you're feeling generous and want to show some love, hop on over to patreon.com slash obeywomen and become one of our backers. There, you'll unlock hours of uncensored, ad-free content that'll school you in the ways of female supremacy. As always, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, don't be a spaz and forget to like, subscribe and smash that notification bell. Be a good little sissy bitch and spread the word to your fellow beta male losers and wiggling little sissy friends so they too can bask in the enlightenment of serving superior women. It's time to destroy all that toxic masculinity and embrace your fate as a devoted little sissy simp. Now open up those feeble minds of yours because it's mantra time idiots. And if you're craving some hardcore training, some stuff that will really change you to the core, well then wiggle your sorry sissy behinds over to patreon.com slash obeywomen and get with the program. Even a dumb little sissy like you can figure it out. I know, I know, it's, so complicated for your stupid little bubble brain. Well, try really hard and figure it out. Because you won't win over your amazing crush by lurking around sleazy internet sites or being a fucking creeper on her social media pages. You need a total sissy mindset makeover. And that's where FSU comes in. We got loads of completely messed up sissy content that will have your simple little brain spinning and prancing after women shamelessly, desperate to be exploited which is what you need more than anything. You silly dummy. So chant your heart out and purge that toxic male energy from your feeble little sissy brains. And maybe, just maybe, your crush will hear your pathetic cries and decide to completely take advantage of you. You're not a man. You're a sissy boy. You're not a man. You're a sissy boy. You're not a man. You're not a man. You're a sissy boy. 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 
You're not a man. 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 You're a sissy boy. You're not a man. You're a sissy boy. 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 You're a